Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about how to get started skateboarding. So this is like gonna be super easy beginner. Like this is you literally just starting skateboarding and I'm gonna give you guys all the tips that I think will help you to get started on the right foot or on the left foot if you're regular. <laughs> skateboarding joke. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so the first point that I wanna make is to know that it's gonna take time and practice. Skateboarding is one of those things that I feel like anybody can do if you just stay dedicated and stay focused and just practice a lot and do it. Because you will get frustrated and it is hard to learn new tricks and it's really hard to learn the ollie, which is like the most basic of all tricks. But it's a battle to learn new tricks. And even to this day, like I've been skating for almost a year. Uh, I skated for almost a year in middle school and then I stopped and now I've been skating for almost two months now since I started this channel back up on skateboarding. Um, and I'm trying to get all my tricks back and learn new tricks and I get frustrated sometimes but you need to try not to get frustrated and know that every trick is gonna be a battle. You're not gonna land every trick first try. Some people learn tricks in a month, some people learn in a week, and some people take a few months, maybe even a year sometimes. I know people that learn tray flips and they're still trying to get their tray flips to like land perfectly and beautifully. I haven't even learned tray flips yet. So yeah, point one, don't get frustrated. It is a battle and it'll take time, but just make sure you're having fun and enjoying it. The second thing I recommend all skaters and beginner new skaters to do is to go get your board at a skate shop. You could even do it at a Zoomies. Just make sure that people know what they're talking about because if you go there, you can actually see the boards and the wheels and kind of feel everything and see which one feels more comfortable for you. And if you have no knowledge whatsoever, usually at skate shops, people like that will recommend stuff to you depending on like what you're going for and what you want to do. And they usually know what they're talking about. But I started out on a Walmart board and I almost quit skateboarding. And then my mom knew a uh, semi-pro or an am skater and he gave me his old board and it like turned the whole world of skateboarding around for me. I could actually ride, I could actually enjoy it and then that's when I started actually learning tricks. It's just, it's almost impossible to learn on like a Target board or a Walmart board. So don't go cheap. Um, I know it's a little expensive, it's like 100, 120 bucks to build like a full complete skateboard with just like basic stuff but it is so worth it to get good stuff. It makes it so much easier, so much more enjoyable. So yeah, that's the first thing I recommend, go getting an actual skateboard at a skate shop. The third thing that I recommend doing for all beginner skateboarders is to get some nice skate shoes. Technically, you could skate any shoe that you want or have, but just know that they will get torn and beat up pretty fast. Um, what you want to do is kind of make sure you look for a skate shoe that has like that suede material. Suede just tends to last a lot longer and not tear as easy. Like uh, if you skate on slip-on vans, that's just canvas. That'll probably tear like right when you start learning how to ollie. So you want to get like nice, strong, good quality shoes that have the suede material, um, a nice thick rubber. Uh, I like, I usually recommend, um, let me just show you. These are vans. They usually have the uh, Kush Pop soles so they're super soft um, these were not suede these were canvas so they tear pretty easily but there's like three or four layers of this canvas material so although it does tear through there's a few layers that it has to go through and then of course if you can't afford like expensive skate shoes and you can't find any suede ones that are cheap and you do have canvas shoes that you're skating with and they're starting to tear that's what shoe goo's for i've been making these last on shoe goo for so long i'll even show you guys like Look at all that. All that's just shoe goo. And I got these tears about a month ago and I basically just like put a whole new layer of rubber on my shoe and they lasted like a whole nother month. So I might be able to make these shoes last like way longer than they're supposed to. But yeah, I recommend getting a good pair of shoes, preferably suede material and preferably having nice thick rubber and comfortable soles inside the shoe so you don't hurt your feet while you're learning. So for the next part of this video, I'm going to switch to point of view mode because the rest of these tips are going to be actually starting to ride and figuring out your stance and everything. So we're going to go point of view on my head and I'm going to show you guys what I'm seeing on my board. So let's go ahead and get to that. 
Okay, so once you have your skateboard and your shoes, the next thing you wanna do is figure out which stance you will feel most comfortable riding your skateboard. So the stances are regular and goofy. Regular is with your left foot in the front when you ride, and goofy is with your right foot in the front when you ride. There's no wrong or right way to ride. Regular or goofy is just the names of them. Nothing is more goofy or weird than the other one. Honestly, every time I talk to people, it's like a 50-50 split, but more people I talk to are usually actually goofy. So if anything, regular is the weird one. But basically, an easy way to figure out what your stance is, is if you were to run and jump on your board, which way would you jump on? So my natural instinct is to run and jump with my left foot in the front. So that's why I know that I'm regular. But a lot of people feel more comfortable jumping on with their right foot. <laughs> that still feels a little weird to me because I am regular, but I'm trying to learn how to skate switch, which is basically when a regular skater skates goofy or when a goofy skater skates regular. So yeah, kind of do that and see which one feels more comfortable with for you. And then just remember to keep that foot in the front when you kick. So now that we're talking about kicking, you wanna make sure your front foot is on the board. You don't wanna put your back foot on the board and kick like this. This is called Mongo, and it's just, it's really awkward. Like, I know it feels, some people skate like this and they say it feels comfortable for them, but think if you're skating like this and then you try to go to do a trick, you gotta put this foot on, turn this foot, and kinda of just like adjust everything to get to the point you want to get to when instead you can just have your front foot on kick around like this and literally just put your back foot on like that and you're already ready to do a trick so make sure when you practice skate with your front foot on whether you're regular or goofy just make sure your front foot is on the board you want to keep most of your weight on the foot that's on the board and just a little bit every time you kick you don't want to take all your weight off when you kick because then it takes all the momentum off your board. So that's kind of just like a simple way of telling you how to push on your skateboard. <laughs> I recommend new skaters to probably ride around and just get comfortable on their board for at least the first day or two, just so you get a little more comfortable before you start doing tricks, because you do want to like get comfortable riding it, know what your stance is, and get good board control before you start doing ollies and shove and stuff like that. But also, another important thing is how do I even stand on the board? The main thing you want to focus on is keeping your feet basically over the bolts on each side. So this is like, kind of like the perfect stance. Your feet are kind of shoulder width apart and you're standing on the bolts. This just gives you like good balance and good weight distribution between the front and the back. You can kind of just roll around like this and twist your hips and it doesn't really, it doesn't really move around. Like this is the good basic point of standing. You don't want to stand with your feet too close together or else you're kind of <laughs> balancing like that and you'll lose control and then if they're too far apart then when you let go of one foot the board goes up like that and you'll fall so make sure you just kind of balance on the bolts when you're basically that's how you want to land tricks bolts so that's the best way to stand is bolts okay so now that you know how to kick and you know how to balance how do you turn so the most simple way to turn for like basic turns is to kind of just lean forward a little bit like on your toes it'll turn forward or if you're going this way and you need to turn to the left put more of your weight towards your heels and it'll twist the board that way that's like the basic way to turn for like big wide turns but say you need to turn faster say there's like water right there then what you want to do is this tic tac thing where you just kind of like put a little weight on the tail and it lifts up the front and you can just like turn easy like that. And plus this is another good way to kind of practice board control is to do these little tic tacs front side and back side and they really help. So like say I'm going towards that grass but I don't want to fall in it. I can't just bend forward like this because it won't turn fast enough so I just do the little tic tac, boom and I dodged it. So that's just basic turning on the skateboard. So I do recommend practice turning Pretend you're like surfing on the road basically. And then practice the tic-tac thing too. It'll become super, super helpful in the future. I promise you. All right, now the final thing that I suggest you learn as a beginner skater is how to stop on the board. Cause you don't want to just roll super fast and then not know what to do. And then you just dive off your board and eat it, okay? 
So I'm gonna show you two different ways that I like to stop on my board. And then I'll show you another cool way, but that's a little harder. You kind of want to practice and wait till you get better control. So say you're rolling, you're about to go into a lake or this grass right here. So you just kind of put your foot back like that and just stop it like that. Your foot's the brake. So you're rolling, just take your foot off, let it slide like that. That is a basic way to stop, probably a safer way to stop. And then another good way to stop, when you're riding, put weight on your tail like this, but make sure you go on your heel and stop on your heel. You don't wanna stop on your tail and scrape the tail, because then you'll get this thing called razor tail, where this whole part gets super sharp and razor. Some people say you lose pop. Um, I don't really know how much pop you lose, but it does get really sharp, and if it hits you in the leg, it could hurt really bad, so. Second way to stop is on your heel. You put pressure on the tail, but you use your heel. So you'll go like this, just step back. You hear that scraping? That's the noise of the tail. You wanna avoid that. But I know it is hard to kinda just focus on your heel when you put the whole board down. But as long as most of it's on your heel and just a little is on the tail, it's fine. And then there's also a cool way to stop. You basically just like, you take your front foot off and pop the board up and you can just walk like that. <laughs> That's a little harder to do and that takes a little more practice, but it also looks really cool and all you do is just, whoa. All you do is don't do that. That's why you practice. <laughs> yeah, you'll basically just like, you ride, you put weight on the back foot to pop it, take this foot off out of the way, and when it pops up, you just kind of grab the board like that. So it'll look like that. And that's just a fun way to stop, but the other ways are probably safer for a beginner, so yeah. And another quick tip that I recommend beginners to learn is how to drop your board and get on it. So you know how skaters do that thing where they run like this and then they get on the board? I recommend learning that. Once you learn that, I feel like you won't even get on your board another way. And it's super easy. Literally all you do is throw your board in front of you and then throw your front foot on it. But you just do it all together and super fast. So you go throw, step. And it's just like that. I hope that video helped all you new skaters out there learn how to do stuff, or maybe you learn some new stuff that you know you need to practice now. But yeah, go check out my other videos. And once you like, subscribe, and leave a comment, let me know what other stuff you guys wanna see. And I'll see you in the next video.